began to preach and teach and heal the sick. That is how we are no sinners. Are you ready for the anointing? Yeah. Bishop, you cannot do very much. It is by the anointing you can build a mega church, you can preach, you can teach, and heal the sick. That's why I love the anointing. Now, listen do you know who catches this anointing? It's a son of a daughter. Of a servant or a follower. Oh, in my shackles, this anointing because he followed Elijah everywhere until the very end. Oh, that. for something miraculous are you ready for something supernatural hallelujah how I came to be anointed has come to Agoba Sun City amazing amazing hallelujah Bishop Ogo was here with us two days ago for an apostolic <laughs> Visitation, if I can use that word. And he said something that something is going to happen in this church. And the only thing you'll be able to say is, I don't know how it happens. Yes. How many of you remember that? I how I don't know how. Hallelujah. Yes. It didn't take three or four days for that prophecy to come to pass. Hallelujah. I go by if you ask me how come my father is in the house today, my only answer I can give you is I don't know how, but I'm excited. I said, but I'm excited. Amen. You know, this church has had a lot of significant days. It started in the an Anglican school park in 2002 under a neem tree. And the name tree is still standing in the park today. Then it moved to the North Lagoon complex in about 2003. And the Reverend Ofori, who was a lay pastor. And then the land we are standing on was acquired. This is Agboba Sand City. It's a, a suburb of Accra, next door to East Lagoon, North Lagoon, West Lagoon. Yes, I'm sure you've heard the name, but you didn't know where it was. It's a, a suburb adjacent to the Legons. Yes, yes, a very nice suburb of Accra. The, the name is a bit misleading, but it's a very nice, very nice place. 
Hallelujah. All right. And then another significant period was when Bishop Sumpa came to this church. 2012. And he was a pastor here for eight years. And he started the foundation of this beautiful, ultra modern office block that you can see in front here. When you are coming, I hope you saw the 3D sign at Goba Sun City. Yes, it's a, it's a very modern church. Beautiful. And then I was also another insignificant day is when I was also transferred to this church in October 2020. Hallelujah. Yes. Then another important day is when I was consecrated as a bishop of the Agoba Council in 2021. Hallelujah. Yes. And the office block was completed around September 2021. So a lot of important, momentous days in this church. But I can't think of a greater day than the day when our father, the prophet, the bishop, God's anointed servant drove and came here to Agoba to be with us and to minister with us. Agoba, I want you to jump. I want you to clap your hands and let's welcome our daddy, Bishop Dad Iwanos. Wow. Hallelujah. What a blessing to be here tonight. Amen. Let us pray. Father, which art in heaven, we thank you for tonight and the opportunity to be here in Agboba Sun City. We are excited and we bless your holy name. We ask you, Father, to bless us, fill us with the Holy Spirit. Tonight, in the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. Well, it's a blessing to be here tonight in Sun City. This is the second Sun City I've been to. The first Sun City I went to was in South Africa. This is the second Sun City that I've been to. I thank God for Bishop Yoku's life. And his wife, a co-course life also. Alfie. Bishop Yoku was working in the church before we even had Kolegono. And his wife was also, I think, my first secretary that I had. She was She was involved in the writing the very first little books that we had. Yes. And she has had many other jobs. But I think her favorite job has to do with food. <laughs> I know when I come here, she will be forcing me to eat. <laughs> That's a blessing. So, those who like food are very happy when they see her. It's a blessing. I thank God also for the convener. 
Bishop Kobe and all the other bishops. I say Bishop Ogo is also here, former, former convener. God bless you. Now, tonight, I just want to share a short message and then we just pray. So, I want you to listen carefully to the few words that I want to share with you. Amen. Amen. I want to share with you a little about the anointing of the Holy Spirit. When our sister was singing the song, she was singing like she was preaching. She was, she was, she was explaining that without the anointing, you can't do very much. It's by the anointing that we gather crowds and that we preach and that we teach and that we heal. It's by the anointing. Now, what it is is that when you are a Christian for some time or you are in the church for some time, what happens is that because the anointing creates buildings and people and crowds and money, everything that the anointing brings becomes the focus and what you are conscious of more than the Holy Spirit. So when you have people in church for a long time, you find that they are not so concerned about the Holy Spirit or the anointing. If you ask me, I would say that 90% plus of pastors are not really seeking for the anointing. Because why would you need anointing when a church building that is completed and uh, your car is parked in the car park And all the things that you need are all there. There is money, there is this, there is that, there is whatever. So you find that as you get older in God and in the ministry, things tend to feed back to you that you are there. It's unconscious. And it's not, it doesn't make you desperate. For the power that is needed To do something for God And so you find many pastors Are pastors But are not desperate For power For anything After all what do you need And that's why In the ministry God Often pushes us To places You get it? He pushes us to places where there is a need. Those of you online, I see over 1,000, almost 1,400 people online. Yes. So you are welcome to how I came to be anointed. Now, God is the one who is guiding us. And if you allow the Holy Spirit to lead you, when he leads you, you'll find yourself in need of the Holy Spirit. You see, as I'm standing here, I need the Holy Spirit. If you were standing here, you would be in need of the Holy Spirit. 
But because you are standing, you are sitting down, you are in need of water. Or you are in need of Coca-Cola. Or you are in need of rice and stew. But because of where I am, I need the anointing. And without the anointing, I cannot do very much. So one of the things is that God pushes you into places where you see that you need the anointing. So before you even have the anointing, you have to be placed in a position of need for the anointing. So that that need causes you to rise up to seek the anointing. Second Kings chapter 2. And it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind. That Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they went down to Bethel. And the sons of the prophet that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yea, I know it. Hold ye your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here. When you are a son, there is a way your father will call your name. Elijah called his name Elisha. Elijah mentioned his name, Elisha. Tarry here, I pray thee. For the Lord hath sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. You see, one of the tests of your life is a test of being made to leave where you are supposed to be. There is always a test that will test whether you can be moved from where you are. Because your life depends on your position. When you play for Tamale United, no one may know you. Because Tamale United, I don't think it's a famous team. But if you are repositioned and you play for which team? What the top team in Ghana? Hearts of Oak. Kotoko. But if you are moved from Tamale United to Hearts of Oak, you are likely with the same skills but a different position, you are likely to shine. And I, I think if I may, be, I may be wrong, but I think Abedi Pele used to be at Tamale United. And then he moved to where? Is it Hearts of Folk or somewhere? Before he went outside. So your position matters. You may be good. And the Bible says that anyone, any branch that is cut off from the tree that it belongs, it withers. It withers, it's separated, and it withers. Many people that are supposed to be part of, that have been separated, the best way to describe their lives and ministry, the best description, if you look for a description or an English word to help you to describe, is to say the word wither. 
Wither means to fade. It means to dry up. It means to shrivel. It means to become faded. I don't know what other word you can look for a word. Maybe a key word can also help us. How do you say it in chi? I hear what? Chini <laughs> bear. Listen. Chintam. You see, the Bible is describing what happens when you are disconnected. So there was a lot of pressure on the man who was supposed to carry double portion of the anointing for him to be moved from his position so that he will just move out of his position. And each time that pressure came, Elisha said, no, 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 never. He never disobeyed you, except this time. He said, I know what is happening, and I will not leave you. Amen. So they came to Jericho, and the sons of the prophet came and said, Do you know that the Lord will take your master away from thy head today? And Elijah said unto him, I pray thee, I tarry, I pray thee here, for the Lord has sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. Now, when you start making statements, As the Lord liveth, as thy soul liveth, as the Lord liveth, you should be careful, it will be tested. Because he started saying, as the Lord liveth, as thy soul liveth. Be careful of the things you say. The less you say, the better. And there are many people who have said so many things. I promise you, I am this, this, that. God forbid that this. The Lord himself knows. Yesterday, yesterday I heard, I heard of somebody who said, he's, I hear he says he's left the church. But I remember that fellow, he said he would never leave the church. He would die in the church. He used to, he used to tell people all the time, I'll die here. It was one of the only people I knew who used to say, I'll die in this church. I'll die in this church. I'll die in this church. But just a couple of days ago, I, I heard this, somebody say that he said he's left the church. I'm, I'll go and visit him, but I, I hear he said he's left the church. Yeah. I'll, I'll find his house and go and look for him. Yes. But I, I hear he said he's left the church. But he used to say all that. So this, my soul lived it. I, be careful. Be, just be quiet. It's, uh, by the grace of God. That thing that he said, it was tested four times. Hmm. So, verse 7, and 50 men of the sons of the prophets went and stood to view afar off, and they too stood by Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters, and they were divided hither and thither, so that they too went over on dry ground. And it came to pass when they were gone over that Elijah said unto Elisha, Ask what I shall do for thee before I be taken away. What I shall do for thee. What shall I do for thee? You see, there is something that the father or the anointed will do that will also contribute to you becoming anointed. That is why Elijah asked Elijah, what shall I do for you? What shall I do for you? 
no matter how you discount and say a man doesn't matter a man matters because a man is a vessel that God uses so you may say oh I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need to know you I don't need to see him I don't need to touch him I don't need to even listen to him but you'll find out that the, the father or the anointed person has something to do with you becoming anointed. That is why he turned and asked him, what shall I do for thee? What shall I do for thee? Before I be taken away. But what shall I do for you? So, oh yeah, but anointing, it comes from God. Yes. And it's true. But there is a part that Elijah had to play. Elijah had to say certain things and give a promise in the realm of the spirit and speak a certain word that Elijah had to hear. And Elijah spoke that word. And Elijah said, eh? Thou hast asked a hard thing. Because Elisha asked, what shall I do? He said, give me a double portion of your spirit. Then Elijah's answer, this is what he could do for him. He made him a promise and spoke a word that Elisha had to listen to. Elisha had to hear that word and believe it. And he said, if thou see me when I'm taken, I make you a promise. When I am taken from thee, if you see me, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they still went on and talked, and did what? And talked. They were talking and they were moving together. You must move along with the anointed. Otherwise, a time will come when the anointed will be far from the one who needs the anointing. Because you didn't went on with the anointed. You didn't went on. You should have went on. You should have went on. They went on. And they talked. Amen. Amen. And behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a whirlwind into heaven. So Elijah went up to heaven by a whirlwind, but it took chariots of fire to separate him from Elisha and horses. Some of you, even to just be one kebab, that would make you separate from one kebab will make you separate from the anointed. Some of you are even attracted by money. A little money, somebody offers you a little money and you'll be, you'll be done. An envelope with some money and you will change right now. Yes. If somebody can give you money to make you vote for him. Huh? cities and make you vote along a certain line I will not make any comment about it 
As some of us, there is not much that will make you move, move away from the anointed and the anointing. It will not take much. But for Elisha, it took chariots of fire. It took horses before he was separated. Amen. Amen. Now, when Elijah asked Elisha, what shall I do for you? It meant that there is something that the anointed must do so that you can be anointed to. Amen. And one of the things is to hear. You have to stay with the anointed and hear him speak the word of God to you. I finished preaching. Yes. Listen, you have to hear the word. You see, in the beginning was the in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the the word the word was God. So when you receive the word, you are receiving God. Oh, I'm, I'm, am I talking? When you receive the word, you are receiving God. Receiving God. That's why when you see someone who has who received the word. It's very different from even somebody who who prays a lot. I think you better change this mic. It keeps going off. Do you have another one? Hello? 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 Yeah. I remember when I was in school, I, I, I learned that when I was in school, there was a sister who was the most powerful prayer warrior. When I, when, I, when I came to the fellowship, the hall would be empty, but she would be there. Yes. Praying. The kind of tongues that she prayed was more than what, it was more than my tongues I was the leader and she used to sit down to pray and stamp her two feet she never stood she never walked she used to sit down and stamp the feet I remember it clearly and I, I remember her name clearly when I used to see her, I felt, I felt shy as a leader. Because I realized I was not into prayers like this girl. But she didn't go far. And she also used to sweat when she was praying. It wasn't just prayers. Sweating, prayers, stamping. And hours. When we come, we, we come and she's there already. I've come early as the leader to pray before people come. She was there before me. That was the, one of the first times that I saw that Even when you just pray a lot, but you don't receive the word, you don't actually become an anointed person. That's what I've I've seen. You don't actually become anointed. Because in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word, you know, it was God. So the more you receive the word, 
the more you are receiving God. That is why you, if, you listen, if you see somebody who soaks in, let's say, a particular message, a particular message, not hundreds of samplings, not hundreds of samplings, but a particular message, a particular word, a particular book, and soaks it so much so that the person can regurgitate it. Usually that person is becoming anointed. Yes. So people, you know, I remember two more incidents that showed me the power. There was a brother, he was a faithful member. He used to sit in the church. He was always around. I can't think of anybody who was not there. I mean, I can't think of anyone who was there as much as he was there. But when I think of him, I remember something like salt. It's like a land which cannot receive the seed because it's, there's so much salt in it. You see, the reason why they pour the poo into the sea the reason why they take the toilet I, I think the poo you don't know I know this poo but the toilet our toilet and they pour it into the sea is because nothing can grow in salt it cannot grow in the salt Yes, the salt of the sea. All these things cannot grow. These gems, the things that are in the poo poo, the feces, the toilet, the things cannot grow in the salt. So when a man has a salted spirit, when you preach to him, the word doesn't, it, it, it cannot grow in the person. It's a salted land, it's one of the causes of barrenness. Things don't thrive in it. And I remember this guy. He was a member of the church. Always around. You can preach and preach to me. We hear everything, but it's a sorted land. Yeah. Receiving the word is a very important thing. Then, the third example I want to give you before I want to show you a verse is that when the church started, People who were interested in the Holy Spirit used to take messages and tapes. Tapes. And they would take those tapes and transport it, some to America, some to England, in bags, cassettes. And they were interested in listening. And the pastors, many of our pastors, they would be soaking in those tapes. And then they would preach from them as time went by you see like I'm saying that when pastors have been around for some time they are not interested in anointing I'm telling you something many of you pastors are not interested in anointing oh yes you are not interested in no anointing you are interested in maybe making money or prospering or building a house or financial days this that whatever but I mean anointing you are not even desperate Elisha knew that there lay ahead of him a great work. And so he was a desperate man. Yes. And he needed what was clearing the way for his father Elijah to also clear the way for him. So, Elisha, listen. I noticed a drop in the level of anointing of the pastors. You see, many people who are bishops today, They were anointed lay pastors. They were full of the spirit. They used to soak in messages and were interested in what was being preached. Oh yeah. But the time came that they stopped listening. They stopped listening. That is why Elijah Elijah asked, what shall I do for thee? And Elijah, he told Elijah something. And Elijah had to listen. 
So many pastors, there's a drop in the level. Oh yes, we are members. Oh yes, we are excited. We are part of the church and of the great institution. First John 4 verse 6. First John 4 verse 6. It says, we are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God heareth not us. Hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. But change diversion to American. Change diversion. It says, we are from God. He who knows God listens to us. Yes. He, he who knows God listens to us. And he who is not from God does not listen to us. Yes. And he said, hereby, this is the way we know the spirit of truth or the spirit of error. What a verse. By the people that listen, those who listen, those who don't listen. Oh, yes. That's where we see the deviation and the separation of people that are going by truth and by error. He said, we, we are from God. And he who knows God, he listens to us. Yes. And I'm telling you, in this house, those who know God, they listen to me. Preaching, teaching, talking, and so on. That's a reality. And we can see two groups. Those who soak in messages and listen, and those who do not. And this is how we can see the difference. This is how we can see the difference. This is how we see the difference. You may shout, you may do whatever, you may hold a book, you may do whatever, but this is how the difference comes about. The difference comes about by those who listen. And Elisha was listening to Elijah as Elijah was talking. He was listening. He was listening to him. So, I want to encourage you to remember that he who desires to be anointed must be someone who listens to the word that is coming from God through whoever God has ordained. Desire the anointing. On that fateful month in June of 1988, when I went to Suhum, I drove my car to Suhum. I arrived in the night, in the dark, having bought some bread from Insawam. When I got there and entered into the room, that was given to medical students. One here, one there. Toilet is in the middle. Kitchen is here. You are here for one month. One month. This is your room. And then I plugged the tape recorder. I didn't know what I was doing. I was plugging my life. I was plugging my life. But I plugged the tape recorder in and slotted in precious Kenneth Hagen cassette that I had bought on the way. I was driving. I said, let me pass through airport and I know where I will get some of those tapes to buy. I just bought it. When I saw any tape, I just took one pack like that. Let's go. I slotted in the tape. I pressed play to and fro. And there at the age of 25, I was in the room with a voice that I had learned to enjoy. I, had, I was not looking for anointing. No, I didn't even know the word anointing. Yes. I didn't even know what is anointing. I have never heard anointing. I had anointed from Benihin. 
But I enjoyed the word. I enjoyed the word. I enjoyed the supernatural atmosphere that seemed to be when I was listening to Papa Hagen, especially when I turned off the light. And there the cassette was playing day and night. And especially that night when I played the tape throughout the night, throughout the night. Yeah, you see, today by the grace, you may laugh at me, but I'm, you see me standing in stadiums in different countries and having crusades. Uh, you, may, you, may, you, may, you may make fun of what I'm saying. But wisdom is justified of her children. Yes. You may make fun of me. But you see churches all over the place. Yes. Real churches. You may make fun of what I'm saying. And you may think I'm just giving some story. You get it. But you can't, you can't argue with the proofs. The proofs and the evidence. Yes. You can't argue with 50 million books. You can't argue with 50 million books. (laughs) Yes. And that night, as I was listening to the messages, to the message, by Kenneth Hagen, I was receiving it as God's word. And it was coming to me. But because I wonder, I need, I need the anointing. I have never desired or worked for money. It's the last thing I've ever desired. If you, if you know me, you, you will know. Because you see, when somebody wants something, after some time you can feel what the person wants want from you. <laughs> after some time, I mean... After some time, you will know what the person wants from you. Oh, yes. I look at pastors and I pity. I say, you see pastors working without the power that they need. Yes. Without the power that they need. So, that night, as I lay, sat, knelt down, through the night, Papa Hagin was preaching. Whatever he was preaching, I want to assure you, I know I had heard it. Even today, when I'm going to listen to Papa Hagin, I look for some particular messages which I have listened to already. Yes, there are particular ones that I enjoy. Yeah, and that was one of them. It was a particular thing that he was talking about. I just like listening to the story. Yes. It's nice to me. It's nice to me. Yes. I pray that God will touch your heart to see how to become anointed. He that listeneth to us. Uh, he, he who knows God listens. I didn't write it. All. You see, you would think that maybe I've written my version. Yeah. Yeah. We, we are from God. He who knows God listens. He who is not from God does not listen. It's, it's, it's amazing. Does not listen. That is why on YouTube, we have made available, if you go to the YouTube channel... The one that he would mail, the round one, press it, it would take you to some other round, round ones. Press the round one. You see different ones, camps, this, that, from whenever it was, they are there. If I was, if I wanted to be anointed, I would go take a camp, an old camp, depend on the type, you can find them. You, I said, that's a, the one who searches for treasure. I'm talking about anointing. I'm talking about anointing. If I wanted to be anointed, that's all I would do. I'll put it on (laughs) and I will be with it and listen to it and pray and let and 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 I believe that I will become anointed 
Because that is what I did and that is what I still do. You know, since the fall, since the fall, our heads have become dense. Yes. That's why I'm sharing what I'm, what I'm sharing. I'm sharing how I became anointed. At least by the grace of God, I started a church in this Accra. And I'm still on it. Yes. Yes. If I wanted to be anointed, that is what I would do. You see, you can be more anointed. You already have some kind of anointed. That's how it can be your hair. You should see me doing exactly what I'm telling you with videos. And you see me. Even yesterday, I was talking to some people about some video that I've asked them to go and, to go and get for me. From the office. I need one that are not for sale. Yes. I need videos that are not for sale. Yes. I added and they, 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 they reassured me yesterday. Yes. From another country. I'm looking for those videos. That's what I listen to. I put it on. It creates an environment. It's spiritual. It's spiritual. I need whatever cleared the way. Whatever cleared the way for my fathers. eh? To stand at certain places. It's the same thing that will clear the way for me too. Receive the anointing on your life. Receive the anointing on your life. Receive the anointing on your life. You must believe in the anointing. You must believe in the anointing. Don't believe, don't put your mind on luck. Nobody is lucky here. Don't put your mind on luck. You are lucky. Don't put your mind on somebody's father, somebody's mother. Somebody has money. Somebody, you are not thinking correctly. Put your eye and your mind on anointing, anointing, anointing. If at all, I shouldn't have succeeded in Ghana. I shouldn't have succeeded in Ghana. If you look at me, I shouldn't succeed in Ghana. If you follow me from secondary school, you see how people have treated me. Oh, get away, Obroni. Oh, Obroni, Peter. Uh, this is uh, no. This and that. Go away. Red. Lebanese man. This and that. That is how I've been treated in Ghana. I shouldn't have succeeded here because I was rejected. I've been rejected on all fronts all through the years. It is the churches that are there and the ministry that you cannot argue with that have made some people accept that I'm here. I shouldn't have succeeded here. (laughs) I shouldn't have succeeded here. (laughs) I shouldn't have succeeded here. Because I I I don't I don't preach in tree. I don't preach in gang. And I have no apologies for that. Our our church, you hardly hear about tree praises. Hardly. I I don't remember the last time, first love center that we we sing in another language apart from English. Because the, my mother was from Switzerland, my father from Ghana, so the language in the house is English. That's my first language. That's the language that, and I, that's what God gave me. That's how God made things out for me. I, I can't, I cannot apologize for what God has done for me. Should I say sorry every day? I'm sorry that I'm sorry that my mother didn't speak to you, or my mother didn't speak Ghana. I should not have succeeded in Ghana. I should, have been, I should have been wiped out early. And I was wiped out early. But I served the power. And the, that's why I'm encouraging you. I'm encouraging you. Don't think that anointing has finished with me. Or the topic of anointing is finished with those who, are, who we know are anointed. But you can become anointed. I'm, t- I'm showing you how to be anointed. I'm showing you go into a room. Put on the video. Put on the word of God. The word of God is God. It will enter you. It will enter you. It will enter you. It will enter you. Yes. But you can see. This is how we know those who are making a serious mistake. It's those who listen. And those who do not listen. Yes. Those who listen. 
and those who do not listen. This is how we know the spirit of error. Hey! Now, the spirit of error is, means one wandering about, straying about. So many people are straying about in the church, but not becoming powerful. Not becoming powerful. Error. Wrong opinions. Delusions. Delusions and mental strain. Don't waste your time. Become anointed. Trust in the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Holy Ghost. The Holy Power. I'm telling you. What has been done now? Something more is going to be done. Something more is going to be done. When Jesus rose from the dead and came to his disciples, he told them in John chapter 20, he said, as my father sent me, so send I you. As my father sent me. If you think sending is over, then you don't understand. Then he said to them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. That's the next thing. It's the Holy Ghost. You see, anointing is the first thing you need for your mission. Unless you are not on a mission, you need the anointing. Pray for the Spirit. Pray that you will have the Holy Spirit in you. Kalama Shandola Baba Andala Baba. Pray that you will have the Holy Spirit in you. Pray that you will have the Holy Spirit. Because when you have the Spirit, you'll be like water that all will come and drink from. All will come and drink from. One day I met a a rich man. He wasn't well. I offered to help him medically. He said, no, I don't need that from you. Yes. But he needed something else from me. Yes. Not, Not medicine. No one has ever needed my medical whatever. It's useless. People want something else. They want the Holy Spirit. We want the anointing. Receive the anointing. Receive. Now, when he said receive ye, it means you must open up and receive. Open up and receive. Hereby, we know the spirit of error is those who listen to us. And that's how we know that Elisha was going to be anointed because he was listening to Elijah. Stand to your feet, everybody. Lift your hand and ask God for the Holy Spirit. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. 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 Malama Shandola Maka Barandalaba. Palenda Manda Samandala Babandalaba. Pasandolo Moshara Mandala Babanda. Shayla Ramandala Babandala Babandala. 
Oh yes. Thank you Lord. 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 Now if you preached in a church this morning, come to the front. Can you move this pulpit please? If you preached this morning if you didn't preach don't come even if you are a pastor this is what the Lord is saying You need to walk in the spirit. You need to walk in the spirit. You need to walk in the spirit. He's your friend. He's God. And He's guiding you. He's guiding you to himself. He's guiding you to the source of your power, of the power. Pala shandola makabarandaraba. Pastor JC, is it? JC, come, come for a stand here. This is what the Lord is saying to you. No, no, don't stand, stand right there. This is what the Lord is saying to you. He says, he says that you need to be covered with the Spirit. Because if you are not covered with the Spirit, you'll be exposed. You'll be exposed as who you are. Which is nothing. You are nothing. You know you are nothing. Yes. But if you are covered with the spirit. Then it is the spirit. That will meet. The people. And that will work for you. So receive the spirit. And walk in the spirit. And. Let a supernatural power climb over you in the name of Jesus. Receive it. You see, this one, come to me, Ken. You see what I said to him? Is what I'm saying to you too. When you come as you are, it's not good. <laughs> it's not going to be good. How you are cannot build a church, cannot do the work naturally. But the Holy Spirit is the builder. So, love the spirit. Love the spirit. And follow the spirit. He will anoint you. When you love him. When you desire him. With all your heart. Come forward. Right there. It's the same for you. And it's the same for many of us. What you are like does not build churches. You lack the organizational skills. You lack the grace for leadership of a certain order that will lead a certain number of people. You lack all those things in the natural. But the spirit upon you 
will be the answer for whatever it is that you lack. So receive the Spirit. Receive the Spirit. Lamasha Barasandula Bakabalada. Pastors, let there be grace for you. For how you are in the natural is not going to be enough to do this great work. Therefore, receive the Spirit. The Spirit. Receive ye the Holy Ghost. 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 Lift your hands and receive the Holy Ghost. Thanks, Jesus. Thanks, Jesus, for your mighty power. Thanks, Jesus, for your grace. Many, many anointings are being given at this time. Thanks, Jesus. Thanks, Lord, for the gift. Thanks for the gift. Watch carefully. Watch out. Careful. This is this is what the Lord is saying. You lack you lack what is needed. You lack what is needed. You lack it. You lack organizational skills, institutional management and other secular abilities but the spirit the spirit is the answer the spirit is the answer receive the spirit receive the spirit receive the spirit receive the gift 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 receive yes fail Fail, 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 fail. Bash al Thanks. Receive the gift. 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 Receive the gift of God. Jesus. Receive what you don't have. Receive what you don't have. Receive what you don't have. The Holy Spirit. Thank you for your beautiful, beautiful gift. Oh, yes. Lift your hand and receive mighty, mighty. May you be anointed. Receive it. Malashabaka, Keshebala, Kashindola, Medesama, Pelegade, Palamakata. Watch, 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 watch. Church, which church are you pastoring? Huh? Major. 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 Yes. You see, I see a dry river bed. A river bed which is dry. That's you. You are a dry, you are, you, you are the sand in the river bed. You need to be watered. You need the river to flow. The trees will not grow. The fish will not come. Unless there is water, unless it is flowing. Receive the grace and the gift of God in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for mighty power. How I came to be anointed. Receive a testimony. A testimony. A testimony. A testimony of God's power. You'll be testifying. You'll be testifying. You'll be testifying. You'll be testifying. You'll be testifying of how you came to be anointed with the Holy Ghost. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. You may go back to your seats. Now. There are some lady pastors here. Lady pastors. You didn't preach today. Come to me. There are some lady pastors. Yeah, come. Don't be afraid. You didn't preach today. 
Yes. Why didn't you preach today? Lady Pastors, why didn't you preach today? Huh? Your service on Saturday. Why didn't you preach? You had your fellowship meeting. What about you? You didn't preach. You don't know. What about you? I didn't preach, but I had a fellowship meeting. You had a fellowship meeting. What about you? Why didn't you preach? You are just an appointed person. You had fellowship with, but you didn't preach. You preached. And you? You preached. What about you? Huh? You assist. And you? You taught. You didn't preach. You taught. Wow. <laughs> ah, Jesus. Listen. Rachel, why didn't you preach? You are handling a basenta, but you have a title of pastor. This is what the Lord is saying. A lot of us ladies, you see, in the, in the realm of the spirit, you are favored. You are favored. You are favored. You are actually favored. You are actually favored. Women have been blamed. It's because of hatred and fear of you. That is why, from the beginning, the pattern was established. The woman that thou gavest me. She was blamed. When the woman was taken in adultery, in the very act, they left the man and they brought the woman. Satan is afraid of you. Beginning from today, listen. Seek the spirit like as though you are a man. Seek to be anointed. Seek it. Seek it. Because you will bruise the head of the serpent In the realm of the spirit A victory will come through a woman Lift your hands Jesus thank you For touching Every one of these Fill And anoint them To kill the snake To kill the snake In the name of Jesus Let the snake Be beheaded by the anointing that you receive today. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive power. Receive grace. Abashaka. Kalembadaba. Talambalada. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you, Jesus. You need the Spirit. Jesus. Thanks. Thanks. Fail. Yeah. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Fail. Receive. 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 Women without grace. Receive grace. Receive grace. Receive help from the Father. From Jesus. Malaba shandola makabala darababa. Oh yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Receive the grace of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Now lift your hands. You see, many people are dry. You are dry. You are just domestic and human. But God wants you to be oily and anointed, full of the Spirit. Ladies, 
receive the gift of God. Marama Shandola Manda Baraba. Receive the gift of God. There's power here. Receive. There's power. Thanks. 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 Thanks for your mighty power. Let there be a change. 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 Let bitterness be taken away. Now, listen, I see bitterness. Bitterness. There's bitterness here. It's not happiness, it's bitterness. Be healed of your bitterness so that you may receive the Spirit of the Lord upon your lives. In Jesus' name. God bless you. You may go back to your seats. Come. Are you a pastor? Come. Why are you not a pastor? You were singing beautifully and worshiping the Lord. God wants to use you. Why would you not give yourself to his work? You have to give yourself to him. You have to. You you belong in his house. I saw you in heaven singing. Yes. Receive the gift of God. Receive the gift of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for a future. A future in your house. Thanks. 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 In Jesus' name. What a blessing. Everybody lift your hand and thank the Lord. Tonight is a night for you to become anointed. Receive the grace of the Lord. Receive the grace of the Lord. Receive the grace of the Lord. Receive the gift of God. Receive the gift of all of you young men who came. Receive. 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 Be filled. 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 Jesus. Thanks. Be filled. Kalama Shandula Baka Parabalanda. Paloma Shimbola Mandereba. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Now, Pastor Yoku, where are your ashes? Where are your ashes? I want those who stand outside there. Those people, people think are nobodies. I want those particular guys. That's the last group I pray for. You know, one day I went to Kumase. One day I went to Kumase. Yeah, I need the ashes that, you know, people just pass. Remove that thing. Remove that dress. That's it. Just come. Just come as you are. Ashes. Ashes. Listen, I'm going to touch you, but I want to give you a testimony. Come. How many of you, you know Bishop Apache? Many years ago, I went to Kumasi. He was like you. He was, I think, a student or he was not any. And I laid hands on him. You see, he has the picture of that day up till today. He said he came forward and I prayed for him. He was new in the church. He, had just, he was, used to be a weed smoker. He gave his life to Jesus. Is there any weed smoker? Former weed smoker here? Or current weed smoker? <laughs> Do you believe God is going to use you? 
Lift your hands up. Father, I thank you that as I lay hands on these people, you are calling each and every one of them. They will become great and mighty spiritual wonders in your house. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is power here. Receive. Receive an appointing and a choosing from God Almighty. From God Almighty. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Receive. God bless you. You may go back to your seat. Sit down. If you are here tonight, just leave, just leave there. If you are here tonight and you believe that God has called you to be a pastor or to be a minister, and you are not yet a pastor or whatever, but you believe that God has called you to go all out, come to the front also. Let me, let me pray for you. If you are here like that, yes, you believe that God has called you. There, there are some people like that. Oh, yes. That's exactly what I prayed for in Kumasi on that day. I want to just lay hands on you. You know, God told me, lay hands on the people. Lay hands on the people. Maybe you, when you come, you want to go to Bible school. Receive the gift of God. Jesus, thanks. Phil, careful. Jesus, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Oh, don't, don't move them now. Don't move them now when I'm getting near. Jesus, thank you. Thank you. As I lay hands on you, you see, you are a young man. Nobody knows you. But you, you become, watch out. You become more anointed than some of the people who are bishops today. Some of you, as I lay hands on you, that is it. That's why God sent me here. Receive the Holy Ghost. It's because of you. Receive it. Receive it. Change. Change. Forever. Forever. There's power here. Grace. Grace. Kalabash. Shemalanda Barasandola Modele. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Watch, 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 watch. That is why they are vibrating. It is the power of the Holy Ghost. Watch out. Watch. Careful. Jesus, thanks. 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 Thank you, Jesus. There is power here. Receive the anointing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this young man. Thank you for using him forever and ever. Forever and ever. You remember today. You will remember today. You will remember today. God is calling you today. 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 Receive the gift of God in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. You may go back to your seats. Put your hands together. Thank you, Jesus. Give me a basket, please. Give me an offering basket. Now, there's something that I want us to do. It's just something that I, I feel for your respect and your admiration for the anointing I want you to sow a seed into the anointing yes like a serious seed where's the basket? no basket you don't have basket here Now, I believe that some people are going to sow a special seed of 1,000 CDs. Amen. Amen. Today, in this special service. If you are here like that, 
and you believe you are one of those people, come, let me pray with you. Come. Just come and stand here. Just if you believe in it. If you don't, I don't need you to waste your time. This one is about the spirit and the anointing. Just come and let me pray. With just one basket, just one basket and one person. Oh, yes. Do you have envelopes? Should I give them envelopes? Are you giving envelopes? Yeah, give, give it to the people. I'm about to close. So, this is, I mean, there's no, I'm not raising funds or anything. I'm just wanting you to sow a seed and say, Lord, I believe in the anointing. I want it. You see, you cannot see the anointing. If I'm anointed, you, cannot, you can only see me sweating. That's how the anointing is. It's invisible. But the evidence of the anointing, the evidence, that's it. The evidence. Yes. The proofs. Is it Begro? Are you in Begro? Yeah, come. You see, by the anointing, you prevail in Begro. By the anointing, you will overcome wizards and witches in Begro. By the anointing, you will be great as you serve him. By the anointing, follow the anointing. Look for him. Look for the spirit. Look for the spirit. Look for the anointing. I'm telling you. Receive this prophecy from God. Yes. Look for anointing. Set for it. Become interested in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And you shall be blessed. If you have your seed, Father, thank you for those who are sowing a special seed. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have it already, put it. If not, whenever I bring it, you put it there. I don't know where you put it even. It's a blessing. Put it in the, in the offering. The momo is there. Yes. Oh, yes. You don't have 1,000 CDs. You want to give 500 CDs as a special seed into the gift, into the anointing. Yeah. When I saw Benny Hinn, I said, oh, this is my chance to sow a seed. I couldn't attend the program, but I could see him and sow my seed. Oh, of course. I heard Bishop Oedipo say that. He said, I never hold back. When I heard him, I said, wow. He said, anytime there's something, I never hold back. I heard it from Bishop Oedipo. Yes, I never hold back. Yeah, I think it's a good testimony. You guys are blocking these people. Huh? People are taking their seats. You have come to block. I mean, they can't even complain. Oh. Tell your neighbor, I never hold back. Is, is, is it not something fantastic? Yeah, he said that anytime they are giving, something is happening, I never hold back. I think it, when I heard that, I thought this is a policy. It's a policy for prosperity. I never hold back. I never hold back. Oh, Jesus. Lift your hand. I want to, I feel anointing for um, riches. Riches. And I, I want to pray. You see, many people don't know that the anointing, there's power here. Receive it. Many people don't know that the anointing that is working here is an anointing for riches as well. If we were not rich, we would not be here. Receive the grace and the gifts. Thanks. I see, I don't know why, because I haven't seen money the whole evening. I haven't seen money the whole evening, but I'm suddenly seeing it. Receive it. Money from heaven. Money from God. Money from God. Provisions. Provisions. There's power. There's power. Olama Shabireke. Toramandalaba. Pezele. Sperebese. You are going to experience supernatural provisions. From places that you don't know are sources for you. It's going to be like a new well. A new well. Like the wells that Isaac dig. That that were new sources of water for him. Receive new sources. New sources. New wells. 
New wells, watch out. There's power. Lift your hands, everybody. Father, let grace for money, grace for cash, grace for provisions come to your people. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Put your seed in right away if you have it. Never come forward and take an envelope and go without giving it. It will turn on to you as a Humpty Dumpty. Bakata Sasho Balamandala Baba. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Never hold back. Never hold back. Never hold back. Maybe you are watching online. Remember this testimony. Whenever there is something, never hold back. You'll be a rich man. Yes. Never hold back. You see, it is the mystery of which one comes first. The giving or the riches. Is it, are you rich first before you give? Or you give first before you are rich? Uh-huh. This is what I'm trying to explain. Yes. It's like we are, we are never sure which one comes first. It's like anointing and hard work. Is it hard work that comes before anointing? Or anointing comes before hard work? It's a, it's a mystery. Yes. Now you don't have 500 You don't have all those things But you have 200 CDs And you want to give 200 CDs to God that, You know in Ghana we have 200 Maybe you are watching online You want to give 200 dollars Come, take it out And let, let me just pray with you Never hold back Never hold back Especially when you see hands are being laid Hands are being laid Never hold back Oh, 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 oh. oh yes Lift your hands Thanks Careful Thanks Bless all the givers As I lay hands Lord Because you told me to pray for the people I lay hands on them I pray for them Lord Jesus I pray for your people Bless them Lord As I lay hands on them Bless them Lord Bless them Lord Bless them Lord Bless them, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Bless them. I bless them, Lord. I thank you for blessing and blessing. Receive a blessing from the Lord. Receive a blessing. Receive a blessing. Receive a blessing. Receive a blessing. blessing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Put your offering in. Oh yes You don't have 200 CDs But you have 100 CDs No it's not This is not the offering You are just sowing into the anointing Yes Sowing into the anointing I'm, I'm making an investment in the anointing. If you want to sow hundreds, it is come to the front. And let's pray together. Come and let's pray together. Come. Come with your sacrifice. Come with your honor. Let's pray together. Lift your hands. Father, thank you for these who have come. Touch every single one of them by mighty power. Oh, yes. Thanks. Thanks. What a blessing to sow a seed of 100 CDs. What a blessing. What a blessing. Father, as I touch them, let it be a touch of wealth, touch of prosperity, touch of good things in their lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Put it in. It's only those in the front who I could reach that I prayed for. You were standing too far. Right. 
Now anybody who wants to give anything Just so you see This is now time for offering Father Thank you for your blessing As we sow a special seed of Offering today in Jesus name Amen Thank you.